This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Thursday, July 27th. Carnival Jubilee is officially a Carnival Cruise Line ship as she received the iconic red, white, and blue funnel a couple of days ago. Following her float out on July 21st, the next step includes the first round of sea trials, which will happen in about a month, and then delivery to Carnival. Carnival Jubilee will sail from Texas starting this December. And a little piece of history here, the funnel has been a Carnival Cruise Line signature look since the Carnival Tropical, and it was designed by cruise ship architect Joe Farkas in the 80s. And Disney Cruise Line has unveiled a new dance gala named Mickey's Color Spin Dance Party. The first party was held this past Tuesday and featured Disney characters like Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Goofy and his son Max, and others, each associated with a color. The highlight of the party? Spinning a wheel to determine the ultimate mood based on the character's color. Disney encourages guests to dress up for this one. I don't know, I just read it. And just when you thought you had seen it all, a Carnival Cruise Line guest says, hold my beer. This movie theater contraption was set up inside an inside stateroom on a Carnival cruise ship, and it turns out, well, it's not allowed. Carnival's brand ambassador, John Heald, posted his thoughts on Facebook saying, we do allow magnets on board, but um, not for this. Ships move, something falls on the head of a guest or a cabin attendant, plus the fire safety issues. And if you want a good laugh this morning, go read the comments on this post. There's about 1,300 of them. <laughs> and cruise line stocks were mixed on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation up 1.1%, 17.65. Royal Caribbean down 1%, 100.88. And Norwegian up 2%, 20.77. This week's podcast, a review of Royal Caribbean's Jewel of the Seas at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great Thursday.